Hey everyone, back with another Solo Automa How to Play. This time it's for Century Spice Road. You can find the files on BGG uh, to download. It's, it's six pages of cards, three front and back, uh, 27 cards total. So once you printed that out, you're going to set up the game as you would a normal multiplayer two-player game. So I have four gold coins and four silver coins here. Um, additionally, you'll start with your two setup uh, cards and you're gonna start the game with three yellow cubes. So what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna take the Automa deck, you're gonna give it a good shuffle, and then you're gonna select 18 cards for the first round. This Automa is gonna be played over three rounds a round consists of going through this deck. Once you go through this deck once, you're going to shuffle all the Automa cards together. You're going to draw 16 Automa cards and make a second deck for the second round. And then lastly, once you've gone through that, for the third round, you're going to shuffle all the Automa cards together and you're going to deal, you're going to make a deck of 17 cards. And that will be the last uh, round of the game. In the rare, 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 rare event, that the game does not end at the end of the third round, you will repeat the third round. You will draw another 17 card deck and go through it until either you or the Automa has gotten their sixth uh, point card. This uh, setup is for uh, a standard mode, which is like the, the normal difficulty. For an expert mode, you are going to give your, yourself only one resource and the Automa deck will be comprised of three rounds of 15 cards each. So standard with is 18, 16, and 17 cards for round one, two, and three. Uh, for expert, it's 15 cards for round one, two, and three. Um, and then for expert, you give yourself only one resource, yellow. Uh, so for standard, you are the first player. In expert, the Automa goes first. So in a standard game, um, it, the player goes first. Let's say I play this card. I get two yellow cubes, add them to my board. And then you simply flip over the top card of the Automa deck. For the first round, you only care about what's in this top section. You're only gonna look at the action there. If there's nothing there, the Automa does nothing. Think of this as the Automa uh, playing a card to upgrade resources um, or uh, taking back cards into their hands. Uh, additionally, you could have an icon that looks like this that has a, a purple card and then it has a hand that's placing yellow cubes. In this circumstance, looking back at the board, this card is A1. A2, A3, A4, A5. This is B1, B2, B3, B4, B5, B6. So the purple card is going to reference the merchant cards, and we'll go get to it here in a second, but there's orange cards that are gonna reference the point cards. So in this case, let's say it was the second round, it says discard B3 and put a yellow cube on each card to the left of it, just like you would in a multiplayer game. So if, if this was a multiplayer game and I wanted this card, I would have to put a yellow cube on each of the two cards behind it. So that's exactly what the card is saying to do. So in this game, the Automa never collects, never collects resources and never collects uh, merchant cards. So it's gonna look at B3 if this was the second round and it's going to take it and simply discard it. And I usually just make a discard pile to the right of the merchant cards. Additionally, you can see this. Hey, I need to place two yellow cubes on the cards, well, one yellow cube each on the cards to the left of it, which in this case is two, two yellow cubes. So one, two, slide all the cards down, refresh a new one. Uh, I would take my turn as usual. Let's say it's the Onimus turn again. All right, uh, if this was the first round, I would do nothing. So as you look at this card, if it's the first round, you only look at the top section of the card. 
If it's a second round, you only look at the middle section. And if it's a third round, you only look at the bottom section. So let's say now this was the third round. Um, this says it wants uh, or point card A1, and if there's a coin above it, go ahead and it, take, it collects it. So you look here, this is A1, so it would go to its player area. Additionally, there is a gold coin above it, so you take it. Let's say it was later in the game, and there was no more gold coins. Just like in a multiplayer game, once there are no more uh, gold coins, the silver ones slide down to the last spot. Um, so if this card were to come up, it would take a one. And generally it wants gold coins because that's what's going to be in uh, above the first slot. Uh, but it just says take the coin above it if there is one. So it's going to look at a one. There is a coin above it. So it would take it and it would take a gold coin. Let's say... this card came up on the third round it says take a2 and take a coin above it if there is one it would look here and there's no it would take a2 but there's no coins above it because they slid down so it does not take a coin um, so looking at some of that the different action types on the cards it's pretty simple it's either going to take point cards and you can see um, like a3 there's no coin because just like in a multiplayer game there's only going to be coins above slots A1 and A2. A3, A4, A5, A5 are not going to have uh, coins above it. So it's either going to discard a merchant card, and if it's not the first merchant card in the slot, then it's going to place yellow cubes behind it. It's going to take gold cards, or it's going to do nothing. Uh, those are the only type of actions. And it varies, like it might take B4. So, once it, so it's B4, so it would take B4, which means it needs to leave three yellow cubes, which is what's depicting here. The game will end at the end of a turn in which the player or the automa has collected their sixth point card. Um, a turn consists of you going and the automa going in a standard game, or in an expert game, the automa going and then you going. You got to make sure that you both have equal number of turns, just like you would in a multiplayer game. Uh, the Anima is going to score for its point cards, for its gold, uh, any any coins up that it's collected, and it's going to score for any yellow cubes in your player area. This is for both standard and expert. The scoring is the same. Cards, point cards, coins, and look at your player area. It's going to score one point for each yellow cube you have in your player area. You're just going to score like you would in a multiplayer game. You're going to score for your cards, any coins you have, and any upgraded and any upgraded um, uh, resources in your on your player board. So that's red, green, or uh, brown. And that's it. Uh, I would say standard difficulty, I win about 50% of the time. Expert difficulty, it's about 30% of the time. Um, with expert difficulty, the Automa is going to go first, but you're going to get the last say. You're going to get the last turn of each, uh, the, la the, the last part of each turn. In, a, uh, if, uh, in standard difficulty, since you're going to go first, the end of the turn is going to come on Automa's turn. So you really, you really want to make sure that you... If you collect your six resource, uh, six, I'm sorry, six uh, point card, uh, that you don't have a lot of yellow cubes left because you're going to be giving points to the Anima. So give it a shot. Let me know what you think. I think it's difficult enough, um, but if it's not, I can definitely increase it. I can play with it some more, and I will be uh, posting a uh, solo playthrough on standard mode uh, just so everyone can see exactly how it's played.